probability of events, those are not mutually exclusive. Not mutually exclusive means what? So that is what we need to understand first and then answer the question. The question here is, a card is drawn from a deck of 52 cards. Find the probability of drawing an ace or a spade from the deck. Now, how is this event not mutually exclusive? Can you answer that? Well, let's look into it. Let's say, what is in a deck of cards, we have how many aces? We have four aces, right? Now, these four aces are of what kind? The four aces are of spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs. Spades, hearts, diamonds and clubs. These are the four aces. So that spades repeats. Do you see that? Spades. So let's call this as spades. A set of spades. And uh, let's say this one is for ace. Now we have an ace which could be of spades, right? So spades ace could be drawn with like this. That is my spades ace, right? So I'm saying ace. And then the other ace which I have is one of clubs. Then we have the two red ones which are diamonds and hearts, right? So these are my aces, out of which spades is common with the spade cards. So how many cards of spades do I have? So as such, spades, we have 13 cards, right, including this ace. So we have this ace and the other cards are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, jack, king and queen, right? Let me write king and queen. So these are the other 12 cards and ace is common. Do you see that? So when we say what is the probability of drawing an ace or a spade? So when we say what is the probability of drawing an ace? So there are four aces. So it will be 4 over 52. Or a spade. Let me use different color. Or a spade. So in the spades what is the probability? 13 over 52. But in both the cases, we counted ace of spade twice. Do you see that? So we should reduce that or we should subtract that probability of finding ace of spades, correct? To get the real probability. I hope you understand. Now let's make it absolutely clear. So what are we trying to find here is probability of drawing an ace or, or let me write, or highlight or spade. So that is what we're trying to find. So what is the probability of getting A's? Probability of getting A's is equals to 4 over 52, right? What is the probability of getting spades? Probability of getting spades is how many spade cards are there? 13, right? It is 13 over 52. Correct? Now out of these, when we see Ace of spade is repeated, right? So what is the probability of getting ace of spades? That is 1 out of 52, right? Since there is only one ace of spades. Correct? So this is repeated and therefore, what should be the answer for the question? Therefore, we can say probability of getting an ace or spade should be equals to probability of getting ace plus probability of getting spades minus probability of getting ace of spades, right? Ace of spades. That is what is the answer, correct? So, whenever the events are not mutually exclusive, remember, there is something common in between. So, that is counted twice and we should subtract that one from the probability to get the right answer. So, probability of getting A's is 4 over 52, of getting spades is 13 over 52 and not 
I mean, taking away one of the spade, a says 1 over 52. So we can write this as 4 over 52 plus 13 over 52 take away 1 over 52, right? So that is 4 plus 13 is 17 minus 1, 16 over 52 is our answer. Is that okay? So we can divide both by 4 and then write this as 4 over 13. So the probability of getting an ace or a card of spades is 4 over 13. So that is how we do questions where we're talking about not mutually exclusive, right? So we'll do one more example on this and then move on to the next very interesting topic. Thank you and all the best.